Okay, my beautiful friends, you know what today is? It's freaking Friday. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm happy about that. Yeah, so uh, Friday, May 20th, 2022. People, I have a word for you. Just one freaking word on this freaky freaking Friday. You know what that word is? I'm going to let you ponder it for a second before I let it out. Are you ready? Fear. Fear. Fear in the market seems to be running rampant. I mean, even with people who comment on this blog, they are convinced that this is the end. It's over. Well, <laughs> to say the least, it's, it's true for our economy. It's dead. It's been dead. As a matter of fact, I have said, I don't know for how many years now, that the economy is on life support, being pumped up by a runaway Federal Reserve, pumping heroin into the markets and everything else. Well, that's the truth. And now we're starting to realize, hey, you know what? The economy, it's, uh, it's a shit show globally. And uh, it should be as evident as evident can be that the middle class is being systematically eliminated. And uh, this is all part of a grand plan set in motion many, many years ago. You know, I just, wanna, I just was jotting down a few things this morning. This is what is causing all this fear in the market. And you can see it with your own eyes. This isn't just speculation, okay? We're not just saying, oh, the market's afraid. No. <laughs> You're watching that 10-year yield. Today, it's 2.83 this morning. It doesn't belong here. You know that in this environment, I've covered this at length. The more the Federal Reserve is going to raise the federal funds rate, the higher the 10-year yield should be going. I mean, this has been kind of really in our faces here when they started with this uh federal funds rate, you know, uh, raising it. We went from under 2% to settle above 2%. Lovely. Then, okay, we're going to do a 50 basis point hike followed by more market reprices. We went above three. We've come down because of fear. And I'm talking fear. And this is what the market is uh, afraid of and what people are afraid of. Recession, it's everywhere. Even this morning, you turn on any of the freaking propaganda ministries. Re recession, recession, recession. Okay, great. Bring it on. <laughs> In my view, that would be an improvement from where we are. Food inflation. Soaring energy costs. Cost of living crisis. Don't forget that. New COVID resurgence. Okay, remember, they got a trillion dollars that they must spend. So they're going to push that fear Fear, the fear narrative, again, is in full swing. And, of course, the, the expanding war. Um, it's pretty much, well, you know, look, I think for the most part this is going to scare everyone, but, but not me or you. Look, we, I think we can see through the bullshit and the garbage. And in my opinion, and you are certainly entitled to yours, if you look back on this market, go back as far as you want to go, right to the beginning, Whenever there has been fear in the market and people start throwing everything away, that's when the smart money jumps in here and buys. And I can tell you right now, I will be buying probably today. Um, and if you are a subscriber to my free newsletter, I'll tell you exactly what I am buying. And I've been doing this. I've been sending out all kinds of stuff in my, in my newsletter. I love to read the comments of people that are afraid. The more people that I see who are afraid, oh, Oh no! Oh! Ah! Well, it, the happier I get. Look, I'm a capitalist. I want to capitalize on people's fear, I'm going to tell you right now. People are afraid, good. Um, my lions aren't afraid. I'm not afraid. And uh, I don't think anyone should be afraid here. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Who said that? Now, we've been hearing a lot of talk about inflation, surging inflation. It's It's... There's no end in sight here. Now, we also understand that right out of the mouth, right out of the mouth of that thing that is running the Federal Reserve, Jay Powell, he said that inflation is largely uh, the consequence of monetary policy. I want to show you this chart, something I've shown you before. This is a five-year chart of the money supply. This is what the Federal Reserve has been doing. Um, why, let me ask you, has not a single member of Congress shown this to the American people or the people of the world. This here, this is probably one of the biggest issues or root causes, and there are several, 
with regard to the current state of inflation. You see, you're not allowed to see this. If people were to understand that the Federal Reserve is ballooning, hyper ballooning the money supply, well, maybe they would start to question the narrative that it's this, it's that, it's the other thing. I want to know really sincerely, and I'm waiting for an answer, when you think that a retard president or retard Congress members or anyone is going to talk about this kind of stuff, they won't do it. They won't do it. Um, they must keep people distracted. They must say, okay, we're going to be funding the war. We're going to send another $40 billion over there on top of the tens of billions that we've already sent. And we're doing this because it's a great thing to do. We have to keep funding wars around the world, the slaughtering of people. Okay, lovely. Uh, <laughs> anyway, with that said, my nose is itchy. Let us Let us move forward here. So right now, stock futures are higher, but the setup for the market is not great. It's not great. What do we have going on? Fear, 10-year yield dropping. We got the comparative strength of the dollar. I'm going to keep using that word because people don't understand relative. The comparative strength of the dollar looking at the Dixie um, is, is higher. Crude oil under a little pressure right now. That's not great for the market either. The market wants it propped up and it's going to get more propped up as we move forward. I think that's pretty much a no-brainer. In the Because of the fact that inflation is going to continue to soar out of control, by design. What they're doing here, look, look look at the game they're playing. They're floating out more Fed members, Fed presidents saying, oh, we are very serious about inflation. You know, because it really wasn't as transitory as we all lied to you and told you it was going to be true. It was just going to go away. You know, it was just going to miraculously evaporate. Um, but no, no one's being held to account for that by anyone, maybe you and me. But this institution, the Federal Reserve, they can do anything they want. And all this is predestined. All this has been planned out in advance. And they want us to believe that this is just by accident, including the war. That's just by accident, too. Just happened to come up right now. Roe v. Wade, this new, that just happened to come up right now. Uh, it just happens to come up right now that COVID is, we're getting COVID back and we have another trillion dollars to spend on it. You can't make this stuff up. All of it is by design people and the sooner you get hit to that the better off everyone's going to be here look the most simple thing to understand is we're leading towards a climax this entire thing is going to get it's already getting real for me i've said this for years and years that it's going to get very real it's getting extremely real for people here as the middle class is getting exterminated more and more people continue to fall into that lower rung of society as we all those of us who follow this blog Understand, that's the way it's going to go. We are moving back very rapidly now into a two-tier society, a feudal system, something I've warned about from, from like 10, 10 years ago. And it's in our face. And if you think this is the end of it, you haven't seen anything yet. The, the grand finale is going to be the, honestly, a moment here. I, I, I've said this, that people are going to talk about for thousands and thousands of years. We already have a one world government. Should be pretty obvious. Um, and we got this uh, move here uh, of central banks around the world deliberately killing their currencies. They are deliberately inflating by design. And, and you know, the Federal Reserve is not the only central bank ballooning their money supply. Um, this is also a uh, central bank phenomenon that nobody is talking about besides you and me. Anyway, look, I think this is all pretty easy to understand. Um, continue to bet against this. You see this? This is part of the grand finale, people. Continue, in my view, holding hard assets, um, taking the opposite side of that tr trade here. Anyway, let's touch on a few other things before I let you go. So futures are higher, stock futures, but the setup for the market is not great. There is a lot of fear here. But fear, in my view, and you can have your own opinion, you can be afraid and miss out. Or you can capitalize on fear. Me, I plan on capitalizing on this fear. Uh, let people throw everything out. Let them, let them throw it all out, okay? You all know the companies that I'm invested in. These are blue chips. They ain't going anywhere. Is it possible that... Pressure could fall on some of these more so. Absolutely. <laughs> Does that mean we're going to go running for the hills, sucking our thumb here, being terrified like a lot of the people are who comment on this blog? You know, really, it's, it's, it's just making any sense to me. 
Um, and it's the trolls, and I love the trolls. I love to read their comments because they make me laugh. They keep me entertained, thank you. I'm hoping to hear from more trolls today. Um, anyway, with that said, people, look. This is the number we're looking for on the S. I have it right here. I'm not let letting it go with regard to the S&P 500. When we hit this number, when we close below it, that will be, by definition, a bear market in the S&P 500. Okay. Um, and that's really... I'm, you know, I'm not even really concerned about that either because why should we be? Think about it. Markets, we have bull markets, we have bear markets, and we have everything in between. So, I mean, I don't know where people are getting the idea that markets only go up. We can only be in a, in a perpetual bull market. We can't have times where the market goes to a phase like it is without people. This is why these people need to stay out of this. Okay, if you don't have the belly for it, get out. You know, forget the market. Go work at a nine-to-five job. There's nothing wrong with that. Most people do. And uh, and just stay out of this thing. You know, we have enjoyed years, years of this market basically going straight up. And the money that's been made is it, stupid. I mean, it, it really is. It's been stupid. So, once in a while, oh, oh, no. I have to give a little back. That can't happen. That's the market. And anybody who really understands this realizes that. And you got to embrace these things. And again, when there's fear like this, this is fear to a high degree, there's opportunity. And uh, that's just the way it's going to go for me. You guys and girls out there, I think you get it. I really do. All right, look, I'm out of here. What else did I want to cover with you? What do you think? I want to hear, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? Okay, Powell, out of his own mouth, Inflation is largely a monetary policy issue. When you have a central bank hyper-ballooning the money supply like that, what, what would you expect? Did people not see this coming? You and I knew that we were going to see this inflationary environment, and we know it's going to get a lot worse moving forward. Did people not expect this? Honestly? Really? I don't know. I, I just don't understand it, but I guess that's uh, just a thing I'm going to have to deal with. Love all of you. See you later. Share the video and comment. I'm out of here.